Good morning, Pastor Steve here. Turn over to James 3, uh, beginning with verse 1 here. It says, My brothers, be not many masters, that's teachers, knowing that we receive the greater condemnation. For in many things we offend all. If a man doesn't offend in word, the same is a perfect man and able to bridle the whole body. As I review my choices in life, I sometimes pause and ask myself, was it smart to become a pastor, teacher? I have not been the best at this, and I have many failures to look back on. And one of my chief areas of folly is that dratted four ounce of membrane that flaps between these slippery lips. Many times I've said things I wished I could take back. I recall sometimes almost seeing the words go out and feverishly trying to crank them back in, like a fight, a fish fighting at the end of a fly rod. I recall many, many times soft selling a hard truth. Now, now, don't go out of your way and use the hard sell. That's not right either. But I can't shirk telling the whole truth. Sometimes the extreme conservative is angered by the truth of grace. Sometimes the more left-leaning are angered or disturbed if you hold to a solid biblical line of the errors of sin. It's a tightrope walk sometimes, so not be affected by either one. Preach the truth and let God deal with the outcome. His spirit is quite able. You don't have to take over. I know I have previously stated that the tongue, or mine anyway, needs watching over as it lives in a slippery place. I'm learning, slowly maybe, but learning to zip the lip. As I control that little membrane, I'm also seeing more self-control in other areas. You can tell that I need more tongue control. Wished I were there already, able to bridle the tongue and have control over the whole body. Look, let's pray for each other this week and ask the Father above to grant us truth when we speak and self-control as we speak it. You ponder that. Pastor Steve.